Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. Okay, we're about to hit another newer Faith No More song, and this is the song Matador off of Faith No More's most recent uh, album release. Um, this is another key example of how diverse the band is in a lot of ways, and another solid example as to why record labels have always had a hard time um, putting them into a particular box or category of music. Um, it's kind of irritating for someone like me that when a band has the kind of diversity and, and, and versatility as uh, Faith No More has, that it somehow or another hurts them uh, when it comes to, you know, being presented and promoted by um, the record industry, the recording industry. Um, you know, it, it, it's so much easier to promote a group or an artist that just fits neatly in a box. Oh, this is a rock band. This is a pop band. This is a hip hop artist. This is a this is a, this is a, a, you know, easy listening, whatever it is, you know, it's, it's like, oh, okay. And, and the band has nothing else behind them because the record labels continue to push them to reproduce the same stuff that they've done over and over again. And strong, solid, versatile artists find themselves, um, expanding their own categorizations and it seems to make them less popular because people just want simple things. And, and I don't mean simple music. I mean, like, there's, okay, this band does this, and that's what they do, and, and that's all they'll ever do, and that's it. And when a group like Faith No More stretches out, then they find themselves getting less representation from the, from the industry that they're in. Uh, at least that's my perception on it. With that said, I've been talking too long. Here's Matador by Faith No More.
So if you're a Faith No More fan, as I am, don't you feel just a little bit like you know a secret that other people just don't hear? Or is it just me? You know, it it I, I said earlier in the video, it's it's like when a band expands their horizons and explores new sonic tapestries and and tries new things, that the record label and the record industry doesn't really know how to um react to the band's versatility. They almost like, oh, my God, you want to try something different? Shut it down. Don't do that. We, we, we've we got you in a particular box, and that's the box we want to keep you in because it's easier to promote you that way. And then you get a band like Faith No More that comes along, and they, you know, venture into things like, you know, pop ballads like I Started a Joke or Easy or or, or um, uh, Evidence. And then, you know, they can do the hard driving stuff like, uh, you know, uh, stuff off of Angel Dust and stuff off of King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime. And they they put all these different textures in and it gets to a point where even some of their older fan base start to reject their versatility because they're not doing everything that they've done before. And so you see these people like the people who sort of revolted against Faith No More when Jim Martin left the band and they were like, oh, they changed guitar players. This isn't as good, blah, 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 blah. And all the other crap that would give them an excuse to leave one of their favorite bands who aren't their favorite band anymore because they changed. And then there's the people uh, who sort of are, are diehard fans, and I, and I consider myself amongst them, who really enjoy the different journeys that the band takes you on different sonic sounds different just different again tapestries of different musical stylings layered together that don't really fit into a classical or a classic excuse me a classic um genre of music and so they explore they do these different things and you just go oh man i wonder what they're going to do next i wonder where they're going to go next i wonder what the where they're going to take me in this next journey of theirs and and that's the kind of thing that makes me feel like yeah there's a secret that some of us understand and get and appreciate and love and uh rejoice in and and other people are just I, I don't want to say something insulting. Other people are just closed off to the adventure, if you will. Um, at least that's the way I feel about it. You know, I, I don't know if others feel that way, but that's the way I feel about it. I feel like, like I said, I feel like I know something that some other people just don't or aren't willing to get. Anyway, uh, with that said, hope you enjoyed this song. Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Know that I appreciate you, and I wish you all well. Take care.